The rain turned that first big concert of the year at Canal Side into a muddy mess last night. A News 4 viewer tipped us off to the damage left behind after Shaggy's performance. And that got us asking the question, should the concert have been canceled and who's going to pay for the repairs? News 4's Al Vauder spent the day searching for answers and joins us now to tell us what he learned. Well, Diana, the Erie County, Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation recognized the problem almost immediately and got to work first thing today, figuring out their options. We can also tell you that Mud Pit had little effect on canal side activities today. As they say in show business, the show must go on, and the first free concert of the summer did go on at Canal Sign, despite the downpour. We're being tested right now, as well as Mother Nature's kind of playing games with us, but I think we're excited to be down here, really happy with the layout, how we designed the floor plan. No floor plan now, just a mud pit in front of the sound stage. Hardly a blade of grass to be found, and less than a week to get ready for the next free concert. You know, if they're going to do that every Thursday, you know, I'm not going to be standing over there in the mud and sneakers and stuff. <laughs> so they got to do something about yeah. that. And canal officials are already on it. First thing in the morning, the Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation put up a fence to keep people out of the muck. And Tom D., president of the corporation, told us they've had staff and professional landscapers assessing the soggy mess. We could resod it, which is uh, the way it was put in originally, but we probably want to look at the drainage. We've had problems with the, with the site in terms of drainage for the last uh, several years. D. says the concert area is only about 10 percent of the acreage at Canal Side, so they could move the stage around similar to the way farmers rotate their crops. Reshuffle in terms of where the concert is. Uh, we, can, we can put the stage in several different locations. So we just need to be ready for next Thursday. Canal side officials are also calling on Bison's officials for advice. I think one of the things they do is roll out maps sometimes on the um, parts uh, that are going to be most congested. And that may be something we learn from this, that, that we have to do that in the future. Tom D. pointed out the Bisons have hosted a number of concerts at the downtown baseball stadium in all kinds of weather. And the grounds crew seems to have care of their field down to a science. That's the kind of expertise they're looking for at Canal Side.